Thank you. Anything else? Good. A buddy of mine was talking about house dip, house dip or yeah. something like that. I have to pay for that too. Yep, okay. sounds good. Perfect. Yeah, thank you. Cool. I'll zoom in on that. Hey. Perfect. Thank you very much. The famous house dip. Thanks, must. All right, Homer, before I let you dig in here real quick, I got to put you on the spot. We're here for Off the Ice for a Slice, episode two at Toppers. Yep. Bit of a unique pizza order. A little bit more interesting than our friend Alex Ferran. So uh, let the people know what you got on your wheel there. Yeah, I got a Canadian with pineapple added on. So there's bacon, mushroom, pepperoni, and pineapple. So my, my second question always is, how do you feel about pineapple on pizza? Obviously, you've answered it for us, but I want you to really step to the plate here and defend pineapple on pizza for our fellow pineapple lovers. The haters hate it, but I'm a huge pineapple fan, so I always go with it, no matter what. Even at home, family's ordering pizza, I make sure my half has uh, pineapple on it. There you go. Dig in. Yeah. Have a slice. Beauty, thanks. Came to Sudbury halfway through last season. Obviously... We know there's Topper's Pizza at the arena every game night, so you've had a lot of Topper's Pizza in your time since you got here. Where does it fall on your scale of uh, go-to pizza joints? It's top. I'm a, I'm a big Topper's fan, to be honest with you. Um, we, you know, we, we have it in the room after every game now, and uh, you know, the boys love it, and you know, I, I think it's great. Obviously, your potato knowledge is extensive, as your teammates like to point out. So I'm going to leave that to uh, the farm side of things. But I do want to know, obviously, you've picked up some skills working on that farm that can apply in hockey. What would some of those be for you? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the big one would be uh, hard work. Um, you know, my family's obviously always done the, the farming thing. And, you know, when I help out when I can, uh, you know, they show how it's done. And I kind of follow by, like, their lead. Uh, and then also... I would say just, uh, you know, the willing to do the dirty work. Um, you know, when I come back, I, I just like to, you know, help out any way I can. And, you know, it's usually not the most pleasant jobs, but that's all right. And, you know, it's, uh, it's something I really enjoy doing in the off season. So you've been playing hockey with your teammate Mark Boudreau for a few years now. And uh, as we know, Booty's a, Booty's a little bit of a city boy. So uh, what do you think a, a day on the farm with Mark Boudreau would be like if you brought him out with you? be a late morning start um and then you know i really don't know how he'd fare out because i barely make it through every day and you know it's you know watching my uncles and my cousins do it it's not for everybody so he says he can make it through but i i don't know i guess i guess we'll really have to experiment that this summer for fans that have been following along they know that the uh Sudbury wolves are celebrating 50 years in the ohl this year and as captain of the Sudbury Wolves in that 50th season, it's quite a big deal. You joined some pretty big names on the wall uh, of captains in the arena there. What does that mean to you? Yeah, you know, obviously it's a, it's a huge honor and something I'm really proud of. Uh, I'm also, you know, very lucky to be in the position that I am and being the captain of the 50th anniversary. Uh, you know, we have a really good squad this year and we're looking forward to doing something really special. So, uh, you know, it should be exciting and we're looking to turn everything around. So we're approaching the end of 2022. I know I just got my end of year music wrap up. We've talked about your love for country music in the past. I'm curious, do the stats back that up? Yeah, I can uh, pull it up and read it to you if you want. I'd love to hear it. Perfect. So my top five songs, Mr. Misunderstood by Eric Church is takes number one. Good Riddance by Green Days 2. Mr. Brightside, number three. This Bar by Morgan Wallens, four, and You Proof, Morgan Wallens, five. And then for my artists, Morgan Wallens, one, Luke Combs, two, Eric Church, three, Florida Georgia Line, four, Chris Stapleton, five. Now, I need to know, is Mr. Brightside on there because you're occasionally DJing in the room and the boys <laughs> like to hear that, or is that just a personal favorite of yours? No, I mean, I, it's a great tune, but yeah, there's also uh, a couple fan favorites in the room for that one. <laughs> Thanks, Toppers, for having us here for Off the Ice for a Slice, Episode 2.